Hey everybody, Michael from RV8 Pilot back with you to continue the video series of the modifications I did on my RV8. Today I'm going to talk about how I attach the fiberglass wingtips to my wings. All right, let's take a look. All right guys, here we are on the right wing tip. You can see how I attached without any fasteners showing. So you get the fiberglass here, aluminum here on the wing tip. Normally you would have a row of screws along the top and along the bottom to attach this. I just didn't want to have any screws that would potentially uh, cause chipping in the paint if I had to remove them. Uh, sometimes you have to remove these wingtips to work on the electrical. In my case, the LED lights up on the front there and the strobes. So how I attach these is with the hinge method. So there is a aluminum hinge, left and right side pieces here that spans from the back here all the way to the front, just as it starts to curve. Let's say right about here is where the uh, hinge ends. I don't know if you can see that in the video here. I have a little bit of a gap there. And then as it gets tight right here, you can see that's all fiberglass right there. And it does the same thing underneath. So how do I remove these? So I'll flex the aileron. Let's see, maybe up would be better. And you can see here is the hinge pin for the bottom hinge and the hinge pin, pin for the top hinge. I have a white block here, which I'll talk about here in just a little bit with a single screw. So let's take these off and then you can see the inside. All right guys, I removed the wing tip, the fiberglass wing tip from the wing itself there. And here you can see the hinge that goes all the way along the bottom, all the way up to the front. It stops right here on the lower and then you can see the top here comes along all the way down and ends right there. So there's a pretty good view of the two hinges. And then the mating hinges on the fiberglass portion, the upper part's here, and you could see how it's recessed back in there so you can get a nice tight fit. Same thing with the lower one here. And how I attached the fiberglass, to, or the hinge to the fiberglass, I drilled holes for rivets. 426s so they're flush on the top and bottom and I also drilled quarter inch holes in between there and after I got this all riveted I put a dollop of uh, flox and epoxy in there to create kind of like an, a, a fiberglass rivet if you will just as a backup to keep extra strength on there. So the hinge pin is longer and how I stop it, I don't know if you can see Right here, I threaded a number 40 screw into the end there. I don't know if you can see that, okay? Uh, threaded in there. So when I push the hinge pin all the way in, it stops, and that's how I know it's hit the very end. Once it's in place, I'm just gonna show you on the bottom one here. So I just put the hinge pin in on the bottom one. You can see it in there. And on this rib here, that's part of the, the standard bands, I drilled a hole and put a nut plate in there for a number eight screw. And then we use this block, which is just a butcher board, uh, cutting board. And I think that's probably a half inch thick. And so I drilled a hole to correspond with the um, nut plate hole here. And then I shaped this to match the shape of the rib, just about where it goes with the screw hole. And on the end of it, I drilled a hole there, one on the top. So that's for the top hinge pin, for the bottom hinge pin. And let's see if I could do this one-handed. Probably not very well. 
don't know if you could see there. So that pin slides right into that hole. I do the same thing with the top pin. Once I have those both in place, then I would line this up with the screw hole in that nut plate. And then I could attach the butcher block and hold it in place with the screw, just like that. So that keeps this hinge pin and the top hinge pin from sliding aft and out of place. And this keeps it tight. So I just do on my pre-flight, I just double check that this screw hasn't backed out, which they're pretty tight going into the nut plate. And uh, that hasn't backed out. And that's how I pre-flight that. I'm gonna take the screw out, take that one back off. So it makes a pretty clean attachment. It took me about, I don't know, 15 seconds to remove those. Uh, a technique, once I get them up in place, I start the hinge pin. So if you notice the eye on the top hinge pin here and the bottom hinge pin here on the uh, wing side of things, the first eyelet starts on the aluminum versus on the fiberglass here. So what I can do is start the hinge pin uh, in there just a little bit, not so it impedes in this opening here, just so it's sitting right there. Same thing with the bottom. Then when I put my hand up here and get the fiberglass piece in place, this pin has already started the same with this one. And I can start it with one hand and get it slid in place a little bit. And that holds the fiberglass tip in place. So then I can slide them up in place. Another technique too that helps this is once that pin's in place and it's hanging out a long ways, I put it, once I get it both started, the top and bottom, I chuck it up into my drill, uh, just the end of the hinge pin. So here's the other hinge pin. So I would just grab on my drill there and put it on low speed and trigger it uh, as I'm drilling. And as it's spinning, it helps it guide it in. And you just put a little pressure and it'll go all the way in for you. Super simple. Maybe I can do, I'll see if I can get that on video for you. So I didn't disconnect all my electrical. So I have, there's my connections for my LED uh, strobes the nav lights and my landing and taxi lights. And you can see in there. Another thing I wanted to talk about too while I was in here, if you could see this very well, uh, I have two of them up on the top and one on the bottom. What this is in here is, I believe they call it foam backer rod. So it was a half inch uh, foam, uh, flexible foam. And what they use it for is in concrete, when they uh, cut a piece of concrete and they're gonna fill it with some caulking, they stuff this rod down in there to fill most of the gap. And I think they can also use it for uh, insulation around windows. So I put that in there with a little bit of piece of tape. So it's super lightweight, it's round. And then I laid up a, uh, I believe that's two inch tape. It may be three inch tape, uh, fiberglass tape. I think I did three layers of it over the top of it. So what that does is it creates this uh, channel over that rod. That rod just giving it some shape. The, the stiffness is being done by the fiberglass once it cures. And I've got two up on the top here. And what that does is it just makes it super stiff. It's like an angle iron. Uh, when you're looking at angle, you know, aluminum to give it a lot of strength, it's doing the same principle. So I don't get any flexing on that. It's super lightweight. Uh, other guys have used wood dowels. Um, but I just like this foam because it was flexible and it curved to the shape of the wingtip, so I didn't have to uh, really put a lot of tape on there to hold it in place. So another little thing I did on there, I don't think I've seen anybody do that, but uh, I'm sure it's probably been out there. The hinge idea, definitely not my idea. Uh, there's some documentation out there uh, from the original uh, person who did it. Uh, I don't remember the name, but if you do a little research, uh, you'll see it. Uh, let's see slide around here and just show you the the tip here is what I did so you can see here the hinge stops there and then I left the fiberglass piece here and just kept uh, sanding that down so I got a nice clean gap up in the front and bottom uh, to take care of that so uh, you kind of see the hinge goes down there let's see if I can uh, get it started here. I will start the video up again, and get it started. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna chuck the top one in. I've got them started.
far as it'll go, which tells me that that's to that screw. And you can see just by putting that in the chuck of the drill, just a little bit of pressure slides right in. There's the end, and you can see both of them in place right there. All right, now you can see that I've got it on the, the two pins. That plate. And secure. You can see that was in place in a matter of just minutes. It does a nice clean fit, no scratches, no uh, paint chips, nice and clean. I like that so much better than the screws. Easy on, easy off, if you have to do any work on the inside. Some guys put antennas in there, some guys do other things. Uh, for me, it was just the wiring for the taxi and landing and the strobe and nav lights on mine. So not a lot in there, I just, uh, it looks really clean. All right guys, there you go. That's just a real quick video on how I did the wing tips. Uh, that was the right side, left side is exactly the same. And uh, one of the tricks I use to help the pin slide in place, I just use a little bow lube and just uh, run the hinge pin on the bow lube itself. And that uh, it's non-sticky, doesn't get a lot of dirt. And so this is uh, bow lube, is the stuff, bowing lube basically, but it's a, a solid. And I just rub the hinge pin, rub that on the, you know, about half the length of the hinge pin, slide it in, slides right in. So it makes it super easy. You don't need the drill. So if you're out in the field, you don't have to have the drill. It just makes it a little easier to slide it in. And uh, yeah, okay, there it is. So one more mod I did, I'll be doing some other ones. So again, you know, I'm an amateur builder, so I'm not an A&P. So do your research before doing any of these modifications. Make sure uh, you know what you're doing and ready to do the task. Otherwise, uh, if you like these videos, if they're helpful or entertaining, uh, click the subscribe button. It definitely helps the channel out. We're building up a subscriber base. So we really appreciate all the comments and all the feedback I've been getting. Uh, really kind of enjoying making these videos. So learning how to talk in front of this camera is probably the hardest part. Uh, all right, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you the next time. Bye.